Most Holy Father, the English-speaking visitors and pilgrims are happy to have this occasion to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem, and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, his Holiness will lead us in singing the Our Father in Latin. He will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to the members of your families at home. His Holiness also intends to bless any religious articles you have brought for this purpose. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children and to your loved ones who are sick. Dear brothers and sisters, in our series of catechesis Consiglio of Things, we now consider the nature of things. War is something to know which are not bad. This is a living encounter with them. Through faith, we came to know and love God, who reveals himself in the life, death, and the resurrection of Christ, and in so doing he reveals the deepest meaning and truth of our human existence. Faith offers us sure hope and direction in the spiritual transition of our times. If all else is a divine gift, it enables us to open our hearts and minds to God's word, and through baptism to share in his divine life within the community of the church. Yet faith is also a profoundly human act, engaging our intelligence in freedom. We welcome God's invitation and gift our lives and the world around us are transformed. May the zero faith help us to live our faith fully and to invite others to hear and welcome God's word, opening their hearts to the eternal life which faith promises. Of a cordial greeting to the general chapter of the Salvatorian sisters. I also greet the large group of pilgrims from Chapel. My warm welcome goes to the priest from the Archdiocese of Westminster. I welcome the members of the Apostolic Union of Clergy. I also greet the study group of our Anglican clergy based in Rome. Upon all things being in this respect, including those from England, Scotland, Denmark, Norway, Nigeria, Indonesia, Japan, the Philippines, Canada, and the United States, I know God's blessings. 